This is practice problem number five for this section. And we have the curve f of x equals sine squared of pi x. And we're going to use um, a midpoint approximation, <clears throat> excuse me, with three rectangles over the interval from 0 to 1. So um, we're going to go from 0 to 1. My little mark here. And I made it really big because I'm going to cut this into three rectangles. So when I do that, I'm going to go from one third to two thirds and then to one, which is three thirds. But I'm using the midpoint rule, which means that the midpoint of each of these rectangles, um, I'm going to evaluate the function at that midpoint. So um, just one more note. I want you to note that the width here for each rectangle is one third. Um, so if I do the midpoint between 0 and 1 third, I get 1 sixth. And then the midpoint between 1 third and 2 thirds is 1 half. Now the reason I got that so fast is because I know everything's evenly spaced and I'm counting by 1 sixth. So I have 0, 1 sixth, 2 sixth, 3 sixths, which is 1 half, 4 sixths, 5 sixths, and then all the way to 1. So to find this midpoint approximation, the width of the rectangles is one third, and then I am approximating at f of one sixth plus f of one half plus f of five sixth, which will give me, um, and I'm going to write this as sine of pi over six squared plus sine of pi over 2 squared plus sine of 5 pi over 6 squared. Well, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So this gives me 1 half squared. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so this is 1 squared. And sine of 5 pi over 6, um, that's also 1 half, and it's in the second quadrant, so sine is still positive, so this is 1 half squared. Um, so this gives us 1 fourth plus 1 plus 1 fourth. And... 1 fourth plus 1 plus 1 fourth is 1 half, 1 and a half. Um, it's supposed to be a 3. And 1 and a half is the same as 3 halves. And we can cancel those 3's to give us um, the answer of 1 half. I think it's hilarious that in this problem, they want it in decimal form of 0 0.5.